Peeps. Did you hear that? <laughs> Sounds like a turkey. That's cause it is. It's a wild turkey. This is a wild turkey product. It is their Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel. Big fan of Wild Turkey 101, their high rye. Whew. That's good. And this one is also sitting at 50.5% ABV. Who would have thought? So Wild Turkey is kind of known, and they kind of state on their website, that they never use GMO grains in their mash bills, which I can get behind. That is some good stuff. This is also Kentucky straight bourbon. So straight, aged at least two years. They never stick with the minimum. From what I read, this is aged at least eight years. And all their products, they don't really release until it's been aged around at least five years. They also don't skimp on the charring. They use a number four char on their barrels, also known as alligator char. It said this is 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% barley. On the nose. Ooh, good wafting, wafting. Oak, for sure. Ooh, wild turkey rarely ever disappoints. I will say that. It is a good solid but oh. I'm getting a lot of like sweet tart sweetness right now. Maybe like a little bit of cherry. Ooh, that's interesting. That's a different kind of sweetness. I don't remember this. I haven't really drank that much of it, so I don't really have that much experience with it. But that's solid. You get quite a bit of caramel, vanilla, you got your baking spices. And you also get a little bit of clove and cinnamon on the palate. A battle just happened in my mouth. Not a frantic battle where no one has any idea what's going on, but like a fluid battle. Dance. Dance is probably a better way to describe this. It's not really a battle. Dance, let's go with that. Oh, it's every time. Little Mr. Man. Come here. Come here. Ah. Look what you did. <laughs> So anyways, a dance. And what I mean by dance, it's more like a dance battle. So it's an interaction between the sweetness. So you got your, like your caramel, your toffee, and then it kind of battles it out once in a while with some spiciness and some heat from the alcohol. I'm going back for a second sip. What was that? Ah! Got it! <laughs> Got it! One of the most walnuts on the start of the palette that I've ever had. You also get a little bit of cherry, uh, tannins, a little dry of the mouth, and then the spice just comes in and out, back and forth. It's like a dance with water. Ooh. Might have been a little bit too much. We'll see. Distance, focal stuff. Wow, that was great. Wally, can you not like be a dick? Leave the string there. Oh my God, dude. You get a little bit more I want to say like char, a little bit more oak, 
the nose is still very interesting. Took down the ins and outs of the spice and just kind of kept it, kept it there. Just kept it there. There's also quite a bit more uh, red apple in it. That's interesting. I would recommend this with some water. Try it out. This one does pretty well. It holds up pretty well to some drops of water. This baby is $50. So for value, I would prefer a Four Roses single barrel, but this holds damn near close to Four Roses single barrel, I will say. But for value, eight out of 10. But for an overall rating, Blueberry habanero chicken wings with some blue cheese. Chunky blue cheese. Oh yeah. May the roof above us never fall in and we friends beneath never fall out. Cheers.